Welcome back to Medical Radio. This is Simon, and we're looking at Lang pathology cards. A two-year-old boy is brought to your office after his parents noticed a large abdominal mass while dressing him. They also remarked that he seems to have lost weight over the past month. During physical examination, you note ecchymosis over his trunk, a large palpable abdominal mass, and a blood pressure of 160 over 100. Lab tests reveal an elevation of urinary VMA and catecholamines and a CT scan of the abdomen demonstrates a large mass arising from the right adrenal gland. When a biopsy of the mass reveals Homer right pseudo rosettes, you suspect that the amplification of a specific oncogene may be responsible for his condition. So we're talking about neuroblastoma. Okay, the etiology and epidemiology. It's a tumor arising from neural precursor cells associated with amplification of the N-MYC oncogene and deletions in short arm of chromosome 1. Most commonly seen in young children but does rarely occur in adults. Grossly, it arises in the adrenal medulla but can arise in the sympathetic chain, pelvis, neck or brain, variable in size, may be circumscribed, may show cyst formation or necrosis, microscopic sheets of small cells with dark nuclei and scant cytoplasm often arranged in Homer Wright pseudo rosettes, um, neurosecretory granules containing catecholamines. Clinical manifestations. Classic presentations, a young child less than two years old with a large abdominal mass, hypertension and weight loss. Other symptoms include ecchymosis and proptosis, which is protrusion of the eyes. Older children may present with symptoms of metastasis to the bone, liver, or lungs. Manifestation as bone pain, respiratory, or GI symptoms. Lab findings. Increased 24-hour urinary VMA and metanephrine levels. Increased plasma and urinary catecholamine levels. And treatment and prognosis. Surgical resection with chemotherapy. Prognosis is variable. Younger age of patient and lower stage of cancer at diagnosis have a better prognosis.